The death toll in Monday's Indonesian earthquake has topped more than 150 people, according to authorities. They warn the death toll may rise. Now, rescuers are racing against the clock to find the missing. In Sianje, a town near the epicenter, residents like 45-year-old Zanadine are reporting absent members of their family. At least six of my relatives are still unaccounted for, three adults and three children. Zanadine's family all lived in the same residential area. It's now been bulldozed by a landslide that followed the tremors. This is where all my family are. My uncle, my little brother, their houses are there. The houses of my elder and younger brothers have collapsed. The houses that you can see from here are mine and my uncle's. Only one section is standing. The other parts have been damaged. An abandoned school nearby showed signs its occupants had left in a hurry when the disaster struck. Indonesia's disaster agency said many of the earthquake's victims were children who were still at school when the earthquake hit at 1 p.m. on Monday. Authorities say rescue efforts in the mountainous area were hampered by roads blocked by landslides, power outages and over a hundred aftershocks.